YB stays on your neck. Stays <laughs> on my neck. Oh my god, to make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe, and obviously hit the bell for notifications. Wow, rascal, this is mad out here, you know, truly mad man. What can I say on this one? So the title reads Manchester City's Riyad Mahrez devastated by boxing champ Deontay Wilder flirting with his wife Rita. This is completely crazy. Just quickly before I go into the, the expose here of what's happened. As we know, essentially Deontay Wilder has been exposed trying to cap another man's wife, the Manchester City star Riyad Mahrez. Now I'm not, a, I'm not into football whatsoever but I'm sure there might be some Manchester City fans out there. So let, you have to let me know how 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 Riyad Mahrez has been playing recently because obviously he's under it now. It looks like Deontay Wilder has stole up his woman. Now just quickly as I said before I go into this article, let me just say something here. I've heard from Deontay Wilder's camp personally that remember the YB did a video a few weeks ago talking about how Deontay Wilder, well, you know, I wasn't talking about, I was reporting on Deontay Wilder when he talked about how he wanted to have female anatomy, yeah? Not only that video though, I did another video where I think it was into uh, Wilder versus uh, Bumain Stavern, no sorry, Wilder versus Bum Zeal. And during, in that build up, that I, I, I reported on the fact that Deontay Wilder don't get no women's in his camp. He don't he don't get no women's. They, it's full of bag of man. When Deontay Wilder does his open workouts, it's just a bag of man. And so my point is, Deontay Wilder, as I said, I spoke to Deontay Wilder's camp, and they've said that Wilder's been watching YB's videos and has been feeling it. So when he came to the UK, he felt, oh, oh man, I'm, I need to make sure that the YB finds out that I've been I've been with some women. So he knew that I'll go to a, an expensive club in wherever manchester or london and i'll start talking to some famous people's wives that there i can get the, that there i can start getting some publicity out there that, that supports me not being a different way inclined oh man i've been hanging with the women see see why be i'm not really this i'm not really i'm not really into that stuff i do get women look i've been i've been doing it but in reality i heard that she he ended he actually paid her to spend some time with her the truth be known yeah he had to pay this dude Riyad Mahrez's wife to, to to interact with him so that he could kind of counteract the YB's content. Oh man, yeah, huh. see YB, I do be chilling with women's. I do be chilling with women's YB. All this kind of business. Anyway, let's get on with the article then. So it reads here: Friends of the footballer have told how one of his sisters pulled Rita away from the boxing champ. Ex-model Rita hit off with Deontay Wilder after they were introduced in the VIP section of the celebrity packed nightclub. I wonder what Deontay Wilder was doing at a celebrity nightclub. <laughs> Magnus, he should he should be he should be in a celebrity nightclub. Don't know one know him. Anyway, it goes on. A source said Wilder and Rita were chatting intently, laughing and joking. You could see there was chemistry there and a real connection. But because of where it was, a lot of people noticed how well they seemed to be getting along. It's a club full of footballers and wags, which even some of Riyadh's teammates go to. Wow, this chick, this is the problem with these chicks these days. Don't get me wrong, Wilder's on some next, Wilder's trying to do some PR campaign, but putting that to one side, these fruity wags, man, these fruity footballers' wives, they be on this thing. They be on this thing. It's called, um, what's the word? Hypergamy, yeah? They all, they want to look, she's looking if she see if she can upgrade. I heard, I heard from one of Riyadh's friends that, during the conversation, she actually asked Wilder how much are you making? Because she was essentially weighing it up, saying, Hmm, well, my husband makes five million. If you make, if you make five and a half, I'm going with you. That's what they do, yeah? I've no other lie. If, 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 with, these, with these particular females, in fact, most females, if they clock on that the, 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 the next man's making 10% more, they're moving to the next man, 100%, upgrading. And to be honest, I don't even knock women for doing that, because you best believe, if I'm with a woman and she's eight out of 10, and I see a woman eight and a half out of ten. You best believe I'm upgrading. No word of a lie, no joke. Oh, you, your boy do I be? Will be upgrading. So like people, a lot of men these days, a lot of cucks these days, they have a go. They have a go at women because they ain't getting no pump pum. They say things like, "Oh man, um, women only want men's money." You're damn right they do. Cause I, you, you, <laughs> you're damn right they do. And men only want attractive women. So what's the what's the big issue here? I don't see no problem to myself. Yeah, if women want money, when men men don't want no nasty women in that sense. So what's the problem? You you man you man are mad that women wanting money, but then you're not mad when you don't want to date the fat thing as such. Simple as that. Unless you're don't get me wrong, if you're some 
equal opportunity, man, and you're dating all kind of fat and butters things. And no, you man have a, you man can sit there and say it's not right that women chase money. But if you're out here being picky and and don't you don't want to be dating twos and threes out of tens, you can't be complaining. Anyway, it goes on. They did so. Rita and Wilder did not appear to be happy. Wait there. Um, no, sorry. Yeah, it says um. So there's a lot of wow. Let me start again. <laughs> The club is full of footballers and wags, which even some of Riyadh's teammates go to. So this is the wife's husband's teammates go to. Obviously, the Manchester City team go to this go to this club as well. Rita was actually on a night out with Riyadh's sisters, who she's who she really gets on with, and they did not appear to be happy with what's going on. Wow, this dude Wilder must be moving ruthless out here. He's really trying to get the. You can tell he's really. To be fair. He's been successful. He really wanted to make sure he got in the papers so that the YB would report on it. So the YB would put some counter. Because you know what? I was mugging him off. He was looking suspect. Now he's trying to get his get his reputation back in tow. Here, yeah, man. I see. See, YB. I'll be chilling with women's. Oh, huh, YB. I'll be chilling with women's. Yeah, I'll bet you are. We've already exposed you. Too late now. Don't be trying to backtrack now. It's no good trying to be caught with the, caught, 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 caught in the pictures with the women. No good now, Wilder. You've been exposed, my man. Listen. It goes on. One of one of one of Riyadh's sisters even seemed to go and get Rita to take her away from Deontay, who was of course trying to keep her with him. Wow! I've exposed him. What did I tell you, man? Let me read that again. So one of Riyadh's sisters even seemed to go and get Rita to take her away from Wilder, who was of course trying to keep her with him. So Wilder was proper begging it. He's proper like, so his sister goes over, next man's, the Manchester City footballer's footballer, sister goes over to grab Rita, to grab Rita back. While just grabbing her saying, no Rita, don't go. I need to make sure I make the newspaper before YB mugs me off again. That's what the truth, that's the truth of it. That's why he's so thirsty. He's meant to have his own wife, but that's the other thing as well. Wilder heard the YB's video where I mugged off Wilder, not being, not being funny, but Wilder's wifey thing, she's, 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 she's She's in a, she's one of them B-level things, and as much as she's been with all the man, she's been with Fifty, she's been with Jerome Miller, she's been with all the B-level man out there. No word of a lie, she's one of them industry ones there. Yeah, same as all them. She's one of them rapper ones. You know the ones which they jump from this rapper to that rapper. What's her name? Amber. Amber. Um, Amber. She's been with Wiz. She's been with uh, who was who's the man she with now? She's been with Twenty One Savage. She's been with all the all the young ones, all the old ones, all the young ones. They're industry. The injuries he checks out here, all over the place. That's why I just baby mum. No word of a lie. Call me a liar. Don't get me wrong. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not at that level. I'd love to mess with B level industry chicks. But that said, a B level industry chick is still a B level industry chick. No doubt. Hundred percent. Anyway, it goes on. There was a bit of a wow. How how peak is this? How beggy is this? There was a bit of a tug of war over her affections. Which of course a few people witness. How thirsty is that? Oh, your boy Wild is thirsty, man. Hella thirsty. If that was me, I'd just let her move on about her business. My dude Wild is hella. He sounds like he ain't beating a hot minute, man. What is he so thirsty for? Tugging over some next man's wife. That's bookie behaviour, man. Tell a bookie. He might. To be fair, he might. He might have been off the mollies and feeling loved up or something. I don't know. Sounds like a weird one to me. Probably a weird situation. Um, and then he goes on to say, devastated. Reports of the encounter at Manchester's club lives quickly filtered back to the Algerian wingers Marez, a Muslim non-drinker who shuns the club in lifestyle of many Premier League stars. So this guy, so this Riyadh guy, he don't, he don't, he don't he's not into, he's Muslim, so well, I, don't, I don't know if Muslim drink or not, but it says here he's Muslim and he don't drink. So, and he shuns the lifestyle. My question is, if you shun the lifestyle, if you're not into that party lifestyle, what's your, what's your wifey thing doing out there? You best believe, I've got a wifey, and I'm, if, if I'm not on no clubbing thing, what's she on a clubbing thing for? You should be, you should pick people who are like yourself. If you're, normally, you get the ones there, if you're, if you're a raver, you normally date a raver, yeah? It looks, it looks to me like this Mares, this Mares Don, this Riyad Mares Don, has been caught lacking, yeah? It looks to me like he's been caught with a, with an industry thing out here. Bottom line, it looks like he's got an industry. That Ting Rita sounds like an industry thing to me. She's looking to upgrade. Bottom line, but unfortunately, Wilder's hella broke. It's a relatively broke. He ain't gonna be able to upgrade. He can peak for Wilder. And the minute she found, I heard that I told you before, I spoke to people within Rita's camp and they told me that she was thinking about going to Wilder, but she heard that he ain't making no monies. 
And instead, she said, listen, when AJ's back in town, I'll be hanging around him instead. That's the bottom line. <laughs> I've spoken to the team. You might can sit there and say, oh, I'm being to the team. You can say what you want. I've spoken to them, no doubt. Listen, it goes on to say, um, where are we? Dead thing, man. Where is it? Uh, yeah, so it goes on to say, sources said he... So the Manchester football player, uh, Riyad, Riyad, whatever his name is. Sources said the Manchester City player was devastated to hear how WBC champion Wilder, famed for his knockouts, had zeroed in on the 25-year-old mother of his two children. One said, Rita met Deontay in Manchester and they immediately got on and were chatting imminently. Deontay spotted her and one of his entourage went and asked her to come and meet him. That's thirsty, man. That's hella thirsty. This is embarrassing. I don't even want to read anymore. I'm cringing for Wilder. So Wilder saw Wilder saw this married woman who has two kids in the club. And rather than going over there and sticking some game on her, he asked one of his team to go over. That's moist. Wilder ain't got no game, man. He ain't got no game. How embarrassing. Imagine that's bookie behaviour. Oh, go with him. Oh, um, oh, please, can you go and get her? Because I haven't got no game myself. Listen, if it was me, I'd rock over there and put the game straight on her, no doubt, 100%. Otherwise, if you ain't got the game, don't do not do it at all. Don't be getting your team to go over. That's hella moist. That's what you call moist game. You Wilder ain't got no game, and that's why you don't see him with no gal, because he ain't got no game. Like, like, women can smell it. They'll look at Wilder. They'll be able to smell it. He's, he, he can smell the no having ass game on him. Yeah? Mmm. Yeah, you smell like... Wilder smells... Like he hangs with a bag of man. Yeah, women can smell that. They, they, they'll notice it. When, 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 when women smell wilder, they, they smell. Mmm. He smells like he hangs around with man all day. That's the bottom line on this one. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's why he has to go and get next man. Oh, can you go and get that girl over, please? And tell her my name's Wilder. I'm a famous boxer. Kind of them ones there. Oh, go and tell her that I'm a, a world champion. Kind of hella, that hella thirsty game. If you had, if, if you got true game. You don't even need to mention a you world champion. You just rock over there and stick raw game on. But Wilder ain't got none. He even got a bit of game. Yeah? Not even a bit of it. Um, by the way, I own a Rolls Royce and I've got a mansion in Alabama and um, I'm a world champion. Um, um, I make millions of dollars. That's the kind of game Wilder's got. Honestly, I've seen it 100%. I saw him in the club the other day. Wilder rocked up to this thing and he said, um, uh, my name's Wilder and I'm a millionaire, by the way, and I have a Rolls Royce and I've got lots of chains with lots of diamonds on them. Would you like to date me? That's the kind of game that there was a recording of Wilder. You heard him. I, I, I slipped. I slipped the wiretap. I slipped the um the recording under the, under the convo. Hundred percent. Luckily, I've got a good audio, a good uh, audio editor, so I blocked out all the noisy club noise. But I'm not. You heard it there, no doubt. Anyway, <laughs> it goes on. This article goes on to say, yeah, read yeah, uh Wow, this is peak. It gets peaker. Are you ready for this? So Deontay spotted her. And one, um, and asked one of his entourage. Wait there, this is dead. He's man English is dead. So it says here again. Let me start again. Deontay Wilder spotted Rita, and one of his entourage went and asked her to come and meet him. So we got to that part. Then it goes on to say this: she knew who he was, but wasn't starstruck. Wow, that's Pikachu.com. How peaky is that? That's fully peak. Wilder went, over, went, Wilder went over there with his moist ass game talking about how he's a millionaire, talking about how he's WBC champion, and she was like, yeah, and, and you know what I mean? <laughs> and no, don't, don't no one know you're out here, yeah? 100%. And it goes on to say, Rita was then taken to his table, so once once she pied him off, Deontay Wilder was then proper begging it. When when women when men get rejected, they, they feel that it cuts their ego, so Wilder at this point is trying to chase it down, like, no, no, no. Please don't pie me. Come to my table. That's what happened there. Rita was then taken to, the, to his table. And they immediately got on. A.K.A. Wilder dropped a molly in a drink. <laughs> a lot of... A lot of those at the club who know... Well, wow. A lot of those at the club know who Rita is. And that she is Riyadh's wife. That's peak, man. That's peak. Do you know, do you know how bad that is? Imagine... If, if, I, if I had a wife here and she was at the club and she was moving... She was moving around ruthless. I'd expect my team, I'd, I'd expect my man to, to pipe up, wouldn't you? Like, to say something. Don't just sit there and observe it. If you observe my wife carrying on ruthless, you best go and catch her, catch her, you know what I mean? No one's there. Don't, don't just let her carry on behaving wild. These, they, they, they're in it, but then again, in that industry, there ain't no true, there ain't no real friends. There ain't no true people in there. They'll, they'd rather catch the, catch the camera photos and sell them to the, to sell them to the Daily Mail, rather than, 
rather than, in fact, they'll actually encourage the drama. They'll tell her, yeah, yeah, take your panties off, throw them in the air, let me get the pic. That's what they'll be doing. And you'll see, you'll see the pictures on the sun. No word of a lie. Yeah, so a lot of those at the club know who Rita is and that she is Riyadh's wife. So, of course, word soon got back to Riyadh about what had happened. He knew about it by early next morning. Riyadh was shocked and quite a bit upset about it and he couldn't get his head around what was going on. This is a madness. I might have to do part two on this, you know. It goes on forever. You know what? Scrap it. I'm going to hit a part two on this one. This is hella long. You, man, if you was interested in this one, your boy YB will be back for part two. So, you, man, just keep yourself locked in on this one. Part two of Wilder's moist-ass game. I'm not even sure what I'm going to call this one, but all we know is, it actually get the story just thickened, but I've been chatting for too long already. Yeah, your boy Wilder have been a hell of exposed out here. Funny, to be fair, it's a pretty good read. As far as, kind of, I've got to be honest, boxing stories, nine times out of ten, are pretty boring, are pretty dry and boring, but this one's kind of fruity still. It's, it's changed it up nicely. Anyway, let me know what you might think on this one.